reloading. We lost eight. In the mid. Oh. We have control of ah. the UAV is ready for flyover. We lost Bravo. Oh. Attack those positions. Man, I sure wish collaterals worked in this game. Is it just me, or do the shaders take absolutely forever to update for you guys as well? All right, there we go. Thank you. Anyways, what's going on, guys? It's Soul Rage, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. So for today's video here, it's going to be episode two of Road to Damascus, and for today's video, we're going to be getting gold on the Dragonov. Currently, I've got it maxed out at level 36, and I wanted to go ahead and ask you guys this question again. I'm really sorry if I'm repeating myself, but how do you guys feel about the way that the challenges work in this game? Because once again, I got it up to level 36 with a Skulls camo here, where the only requirement is to go on a three kill streak and by the time that I got to level 36, it was all done. So, you know, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I don't really like the way that uh, the challenges are set up in this game or like the way that you go about completing them. I mean, in theory, yeah, it is nice to complete uh, whatever challenge you want, really whenever you want when it comes to the weapon camos. But I don't know if it's just me, but I'm so used to the way of just like, for example, getting 100 one shot, one kills or 100 headshots. And then after that point in time, you start completing the uh, mastery challenges where you go on and get bloodthirsties and double kills, so on and so forth. I feel like personally for me and for like a whole bunch of other people that might be doing Road to Damascus, it kind of throws everything off. Because at least for the way that it works, for example, in Black Ops 4 and in previous Call of Duties where you have to complete that one base challenge and then go on to the next, it would keep things more organized. Honestly, right now, it's a complete mess. So, besides the uh, spray paint of getting 450 kills, here for the Tiger kills, uh, I just have to get a couple more mounting kills, like within 20 mounts, which isn't too bad. Here for the Reptile challenges, once again, I have to complete it with using no attachment. So, that's not going to be too bad. It might be a pretty short video. I don't know. We'll see exactly how the mounting goes because that's not exactly my favorite thing to do in terms of like completing the challenges it's not very fun to sit there and camp thank you <laughs> loaf is snoring. you've woken up the loaf look what you've done give him a nugget what <laughs> i appreciate the chicken nuggets thank you very much you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> mama rick's quite coming in clutch with the chicken nuggets all right i've got the food i don't think this can get any more stuff typically American. So anyways, though, let's go ahead and get started with this. Ah, yes, Euphrates Bridge. Perfect. I feel like this might be an extremely unpopular opinion, but I actually kind of like playing this map for both Team Deathmatch and Domination. I mean, spawns on Domination are terrible, but I think that goes for every map. Again, have like A and B, you spawn all the way in the back of A. Just doesn't make any sense. I feel like this is one of those maps, especially when it comes to Domination, that it's pretty imperative that you capture B, but at the same time... Oh dear. Come on, just, just please somebody get on the flag. No, it's, it's fine. I'll just solo cap it back up from the claymore. All right. I mean, I guess at the same time, it's probably not even a bad thing that you would even end up losing B just because, you know, you're going to spawn in the back of the map anyway. So what does it matter? That's one of the biggest problems right now with the spawning. And as far as domination goes, it's literally team deathmatch with flags. It's so pointless to capture B. I'm literally right next to B. Who dares try to capture B? No. There was like three flare. What? Three flares? Three flashes just looking at that area. Good God. I don't think there's anything more stereotypical about peeking sea flag on Euphrates Bridge. Hostiles in the area. Mm -hmm. Where are you? No, please just run back out. Just, just let. Damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say, just let it happen. This was definitely one thing that I made sure of while I was leveling up my AX50 that I was getting a good amount of mounting kills so I don't have to focus too much on it. It seems like every other challenge isn't even like really that difficult to complete, like no attachments, five attachments, long shots, double kills, stuff like that. It's just the mounting. Corporal Tuna 335. You can literally pick any name you want for your activate. You know what? I, I respect it. Okay, Corporal Tuna. That worked so perfectly. So did that. Put the riot shield away. You know what? You know what? What am I witnessing right here? What am I witnessing? No! Oh my, die! <laughs> I was so ready for that battle. I really wanted to see what the riot shield guys would do. You know what? The spray was justified. He pulled out an RPG. It was justified. Hostiles in the area. I think I unmounted and then mounted the second I killed him. Uh, I really hope that counts. I, I don't want to have to uh, do this more than I need to. 
Oh my god. Well, I, I kind of avenged them a little bit. I can't believe what I just witnessed. They're all just sitting back there. What am I supposed to do? Okay, all right, that's what I get for rushing. Thanks for standing still, appreciate it. Okay, the sun, dude, ugh. I have to close my blinds and it just throws off all of the lighting. I mean, like, I like the natural sunlight, but good lord, man. Utilizing my blinds, it doesn't make it any better. It's like hitting me directly in the eye and it's like starting to give me a headache. I hate everything. Oh, I need to see this. What happened here? Oh my god. The quad RPG was actually kind of nuts. All right, 23 and 11, not a bad game. I feel like I got a decent amount of leading kills that game, so uh, let's see where we're at. Oh, it actually turns out I got them all done. All right, I'll run uh, Red Tiger. So now at this point in time, I still need reptile kills, but that's only like, what, 40-ish more kills? 40-ish more kills without using any attachments, and then we'll get a goal. I really can't get over this, though. Red Tiger in this game just looks disgustingly nice. I'm sure most of you guys may have already heard these rumors or like saw this uh, leaked weapon list that apparently the intervention is coming back to this game at some point in time if that's true oh my god red tiger and blue tiger like all the classic you know modern warfare modern warfare 2 camos are gonna look so nice on it no Big dingling one. This guy had back-to-back -back claymores on the staircase. I'm actually baffled. I don't even know if I can say baffled. I don't even know if I'm really and truly surprised by that. All right, it looks like for the reptile challenges, we still got about 20 kills left to go for that. And then the uh, default spray paint. Still need to get a couple more kills for 450. This honestly took a little bit longer than what I was expecting. I mean, then again, those mounting kills do take some time. Sasha, not gray. Thanks for clarifying. Enemy movement. Never reach the halfway point. Get moving. I'm at such a loss for words, I really don't even know what to say to that. Like, how are you supposed to get mad at that? Oh my god, me, I used a 725, <laughs> I'm so original, oh my god. I mean, to be fair, it is my fault for re-peaking it, but at the same time, I wasn't expecting him to be, you know, like, super close sitting at a table enjoying dinner. Oh my god. Please tell me this is done. I, I unlocked something new. Reptile! Oh, oh no! Oh, I need about 10 more kills to complete that, and I don't know exactly how much I have left for that. Alright, we're, we're almost done here. Let's just hurry this up. Come on, Mike. I think I may have just gotten it off that little streak. At least I hope so. I'll, I'll hope to at least have it done by the end of this game. Oh my god. All right, so I finished that match 19 and 12, majority of the kills with the dragon off. I should have it now, hopefully, please. Took a lot longer than what I thought it was going to take, so uh, let's see here. Customize. Ah, new camo. Okay, so I completed the reptile, but... I still haven't completed smoke. Oh my lord. Can you please tell me how many kills I need? Again, I still don't know exactly how many kills I need, but uh, this is a customized Dragonov that I'm gonna run real quick. Again, with the F-Tac Stalker Scout. Basically, as far as the attachments go, they're all things that uh, increase ADS speed. The only thing that's taking away a little bit of ADS is the extended mags, but it's three to one in terms of uh, positives to negatives. So it really shouldn't be too bad, at least for the uh, small amount of kills that I still need. I'll start over here. <laughs> That flick with the laser right there. Whoops. I had just moved it out the way so he obviously wouldn't see it against the wall. Oh, that timing. So 
So real quick, I had to stop the recording real quick because I had been recording for about an hour and 45 minutes in that first session and I needed to stop it just to be sure that the files wouldn't get corrupted. But in that short break that I took, I had this 200 IQ big brain move to think that, yo, why don't I just check the combat record to see exactly how many kills I have with the dragon off? And it turns out I have 413. So I need uh, 37 more kills and then we will have it gold. Seven. Five. Oh, that would have been so nice if I turned on him. Four. Three. Two. One. Come on, hurry up. Just give me my last kill already. Come on. Zero. There it is. Now I should have it. For good measure. Come on. Just let me get you through the car. All right. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, at this rate, I should definitely have it now. Again, it would be nice to see uh, challenge complete. Golden Dragon off at the top of my screen. But no. All right. There we go. I should finally have it now. Thank God. I also just realized it's gotten kind of dark in my room. But uh, I went 14 and 3. Holy shit. All right. Not a bad last game. Okay. There we go. Now we finally got it. New camo. The last spray paint, which should mean completionist. Dragon off gold. There we go. You know, I can't even lie to you guys. I've been going around like five different maps trying to get like good thumbnail spots to like get the sunlight on the dragon off may have to go back and get a thumbnail another time because this is honestly kind of rough but yeah i mean uh this is the uh, golden dragon off i know there's uh, no weapon in spec so it's a little hard to tell it's a little hard to see the full design without uh doing that whole like preview weapon thing but this still looks really nice like again i really love like the default gold etching on it also at the same time i mean i really wouldn't have minded like the uh the solid gold camo that we've always had even without the designs i think it would still look really really nice really wish there was a uh, weapon in spec button where i could really show you guys it but uh Nah, not here. I'll go back and get a thumbnail later. So on that note, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Road to Damascus, unlocking the Golden Dragon off. So again, as far as the next couple of episodes that I'm going to be doing here, as far as Road to Damascus goes, the next episode for sure is going to be the AX-50, and then the episodes following that might be the Car 98 and the MK2 Marksman Rifles, because apparently you can't just unlock gold on the AX-50 Dragon off and the HDR to get Platinum Snipers. You also have to unlock gold on the Marksman Rifles, which I guess makes sense, but doesn't entirely make sense to me. But all right, Infinity Ward, you do you. So once again though guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Road to Damascus unlocking the Golden Dragon off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you guys did. I feel like I said that twice already. It's been Soul Rage, and I will see you guys later. Take care everybody.